A new era of space flight begins tomorrow. Our Damani Lewis explains the SpaceX launch and why NASA is calling this such a unique moment for America. The first launch of astronauts from U.S. soil since the retirement of the space shuttle program in 2011 is set to lift off from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center at 4.33 p.m. tomorrow. But first, the rocket was brought horizontal for some additional pre-flight checkouts. This is a unique opportunity to bring all of America together in one moment in time and say, look at how bright the future is. That's what this launch is all about. The Demo 2 mission is a test flight for veteran astronaut Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley. It's the first crewed flight to the International Space Station under NASA's commercial crew program. Bankin and Hurley will lift off inside a SpaceX Crew Dragon atop a Falcon 9 rocket for what could be an extended stay at the space station. And yes, in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, we've taken extraordinary measures to keep our people safe, and we are one day away from launch. And NASA is looking to keep everyone else safe, too. Despite the historic significance of the launch, NASA is inviting the public to attend the launch virtually. There's so much publicity about this launch and so much interest in this launch. We haven't launched humans from the United States in nine years, so I think a lot of people will come, locals anyway. A handful of astronauts will also be on Florida's Space Coast for the launch along with President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. This is Launch America. It's not Launch NASA. It is Launch America, and it's huge. My son is, uh, is eight years old, and so he's never seen Americans launch from the United States ever.